ITC Bahrain today is not anymore a telecom service provider. We are a digital service provider, which means that every single thing that does exist under the umbrella of the ICT, we are looking at that. Of course, with tangible value that we want to add to all of our customer. So from our point of view, all the services, the lifestyle or all the services that will impact positively the lifestyle of our customers, there will be part of this strategy. Starting from consumer market, business, and even wider to the kingdom side. The more that we can enhance the portfolio of our product and services to the end user under the ICT, starting from telecom services, plus fintech, plus insurtech, plus what we are doing today in the business side by providing connect connectivity, by providing connect the house, the smart solutions that we are doing, the smart home, the fintech things, healthcare, so many fronts and for so many verticals that we are covering. This is all of it under the ICT. The 5G itself, if we looked at it, it's a great technology that opening much more wider spectrum of providing different products and services and capabilities because we are transforming the infrastructure that we are building on top of it, the product and services. Of course, having just only these muscles without having a proper cases that actually the end user benefits from that is is meaningless. And that's why we are using these muscles for the 5G and capabilities with a very specific use cases that enhance the customer lifestyle and truly transform what they want to do on many, many fronts. One of them, the digital experience that they are having today across all the product and services. Previously, people, for example, they can get their services only from the retail side. Today, they can go to our e-shop and they can have a superior customer journeys. Imagine these things if we can offer it to our business customers and build these capabilities for them. And from their point of view and from their side, they can offer it to their end user. This can be done by the 5G. Today, most of the customers that we have in business, they start looking at how we can contribute to enhance their products, to enhance their operation, to make sure that they can have a better performance with much more, I would say, optimized cost. The first who brought the 3G, the 4G, the 4G LTE. We were the first to bring the 5G in the country. And we are doing a lot of expansions that making sure it's not just only a coverage as much as quality of service. What we are building, as I said, is, is an infrastructure. It's not just only a surface or between brackets, we have a 5G, no. It's a real experience that the customer has. Um, what we are doing on the 5G today, if you looked at the changes that happened because of COVID, the experience that we saw, for example, in education, this by itself, could not be achieved if we didn't have a very strong network that can take all of this load and provide these services. Working from home is a new lifestyle, it's a new things. People, they could afford today to do it because of these capabilities. Not everywhere that you would have a fiber connectivity, but 5G, this is where you have the freedom because of the mobility that you can give this kind of superior experience to the customer that he can use it as much as he wants for education, working from home, as I said, building smart you know, uh, solutions on the top of that. And this is what we are promising. This is what we are bringing. We are saying to our customer, we are not just only tagging this under 5G name. No, it's actually make it a reality by providing the right services.